Welcome everyone to chapter 3, season 3. We've got a new battle bus, we've got a new map, new weapons, and so much to explore. This is going to be awesome. The ultimate goal is to unlock that brand new Victory Royale umbrella for the season. If you're excited, hit that thumbs up button. Take a look at this glider. I am literally Darth Vader in Fortnite, and the map looks so different. Let's see what the very first weapon we can get is. Ooh, nothing incredible, but we're going to be exploring, taking a look at all of the new weapons. Oh, what did I get from this? What the hell? So it's low grav mode here as well. This is my literal first game of the season. You can collect this. Are you going to be my first elimination of the season? Thank you very much. And there's a reality seed. And with the reality seed, you can plant it down. And this will actually continue to grow in between games of Fortnite. So if I come back in my next game, this will be in this exact same spot with loot ready for me to pick up and use. This loot can go all the way up to mythic rarity. So if you want to guarantee yourself a good start to another game, throw these things down. I'm definitely going to be using them. In terms of vaulted things, the MK7 drum shotgun, thermal AR, LMG, rift to go balloons, floppers have all been vaulted but have been made way for a lot of very cool new stuff. Don't worry. Ballers are back. Slipstreams are back, as you can see as well. And the imagined order there are nowhere to be found on the island right now. They have gone into hiding after the incredible live event that we had. Also, look at this. You can actually knock this and send it flying. I want to see someone get a kill with that thing. That would be absolutely amazing. All right, I want to see some new weapons coming out of here. What have we got? What have we got? The Ranger Assault Rifle is still in the game. And of course, the AUG is still in the game. Oh, you're screwed, mate. See you later. And you can actually ride animals. I'm not sure if this guy was trying to do that with this ball. I have never tried this in my life, so this could go horribly wrong. Do you just run up to it and... Come back! I want to try and use you as a vehicle! Okay, it's not as easy as... What the... What? We may need a specific weapon to actually be able to man onto him and actually ride him. The auto shotgun is still in the game. The heavy sniper is still in the game. And fun fact, I'm collecting loads of information that is not common knowledge about this season. A mythic sniper is coming that does 200 damage to the head. Yes, get excited for that. Look how cool this new area is. If you haven't seen the new map, I'll throw it up on screen here. Most of the changes have happened in the bottom left. Oh, this is big. If you guys watch my live event, Event, you'll know that I put a drum shotgun, which is currently vaulted, into my tent. They took it out. I am fuming. I am fuming! I was hoping that that would carry across. I guess I won't be bringing the vaulted drum shotgun back into the game, which is probably a good thing, but at least we tried, right? A cool new feature, if you're playing no builds mode, is that your overshield, which is the 50 extra shield that you get on top of your 100 health and 100 shield, will actually be recharged as we enter Peril Pass for the first time. It'll be recharged when you get an elimination, which means if you're in a really intense situation, you've got a few people on you. If you're the one that gets the elimination, you'll be rewarded and come out of it with that overshield fully charged and ready to go. I want to get blasted up in the air. Oh my. Okay, that's a lot higher than I expected to go. I like it. I can't get over how incredible this glider is. Guys, if you're picking up the battle pass... Be sure to use code Allie. The battle pass is definitely a banger. Come on, give us a new weapon. They just want to give us all the old ones. We will find them. We've got a new shotgun, a new assault rifle. Ooh. Someone's having a big fight over there. Taken down. Oh my god, beautiful shooting. May not be a new weapon, but you got to admit, the burst assault rifle stays strong. This is the new shotgun, the two-shot shotgun. We finally have a new weapon. We've got two new weapons and the hammer assault rifle. I'm going to pick both of these up and a rift to go just in case we get into a bit of trouble. Let's see if they've got any other loot as we take a closer look at these two new weapons. There is a third one that we have yet to get. 
And it's right here. The DMR. Oh my god. They are all here, people. I don't have enough space for all of these weaponries. All right. First up, the hammer assault rifle. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw up all of the damages for all variants of this weapon on screen now. Let's give it a shot. It's fully auto, but with a lot of kick upwards and right. The two shot shotgun. Gonna throw up all of the damage information on screen for this as well. I've never shot this before. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. You can't hold down your trigger button. You need to press that each time you want it to do it. And then the DMR, I've also not used. Ooh, this is... You can fire this fast. I don't think it's hit scan, so you need to lead the shot. But that thing can deal a lot of damage as well and all the information on screen for that too. Now, those are the three newest weapons in game. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get some action with these weapons and actually try them out against some players. Especially since the drum shotgun's now gone. I'm interested to know if this two shot is any good. There's a lot more new stuff coming throughout this season that we can see in the Battle Pass trailer. Oh. Whoa! Literally, how, would, how is she on that? How is she on what? What? She is riding an animal. I think she's going to go over here. I'm going to see if we can take her down on the other side. She managed to do it. Riding animals is possible. Oh my God, we've ended up at the giant tree. Oh my God. This tree is huge. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to let her get away. Ooh! Okay. Oh my god, we've got someone else here. Maybe I can ride on that wolf and try and get out of here. Ride? How do you ride? Don't beat me up! Whoa. Dude, look at the slipstream. Look at the giant cuddle team leader roller coaster that has taken over what used to be the Imagined Order's base. You just got destroyed. She came to kill me and I absolutely obliterated her. These new weapons, you know, not half bad at all. I'm liking them. Oh, look, someone's on the baller. Look. They're zipping around. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, we've got to find a baller and we are going on that roller coaster. Dude, I'm going inside. <laughs> I don't even know you could do this. I'm going inside the head of the cuddle team leader. I am hunting down one of these ballers and giving them a go. What is that? There is a Tova tokens. Bro, whatever rave is going on inside here, get me in. All oh, the launch pads have been sprayed. That's so funny. Out of the head and down into the belly of what was the Imagined Order's base and is now a giant rave area. Yo, this is so cool. There ain't no bad guys here anymore, people. It is safe and sound. Oh, it's a baller. Let's go. Now, guys, the ballers have changed. If I go on to here, I don't need to do anything. It just takes the baller along with it. Look at this. We are on like a roller coaster. In the bottom right-hand corner... You can see that there's an energy bar. That energy bar gets depleted when you use your grappler and move around the map. And once it depletes, you cannot recharge it. So the baller is gone. It is useless at that point, which means you can't spam ballers all around the map infinitely. Basically a really good way of making sure that these things aren't ridiculously overpowered like they've been in the past. I've literally done an entire trip of the island here. You love to see it. So if I boost up... Oh my god, it's been so long since I've used these things. You definitely don't get, don't get a chance to use them anywhere near as long as you could, which is a good thing, trust me. Guys, I've learned how to ride the animals. I'm going to take this one out. And then we need to land and jump onto... Ah! Yes! There we go! Oh my gosh, look at this! Uh, we have taken over a wolf and we can ride it. We can ride boars. This is the greatest way of getting around ever in Fortnite Battle Royale. Dude, it's like on my team as well. I literally have a freaking wolf fighting for me. This is amazing! You can see the tree. That giant tree in the middle has got roots all over the island. Goodness knows who planted it or who watered it to make it grow that big, but it is a beefy, beefy tree 
tree. And actually, the tree will have huge implications on how the map changes throughout the season. As the map will continue to change and evolve along with how the tree ends up changing and evolving as well. So definitely play close attention to what that tree ends up doing. As that thing, I mean, look at it. We've seen a very similar shape in a previous live event. Something to do with maybe being powered by the zero point would be my guess. A better version of the shotgun. An even better version of the shotgun. We are powering up right now and I am liking my loadout. Now there is a new thing called storm sickness. So if you go in the storm and stay in here too long. So the storm acts as normal. Losing some health there. But if you continue to do that throughout the game and do it a bit too much. You will in fact end up getting sick from it, which means that when you come out of a storm, you continue to be hurt, you continue to be ill, and will basically stop people from camping in the storm and using it as a way to basically get really easy wins and just sit in the storm healing all the time, which I think is a really, really good idea. So no more storm camping for people, otherwise you literally get ill. Also spotted in the seasonal trailer is the grappler gloves. That's right. We know how much we all love the Spider-Man grappler, the mythic, I mean, our Arguably one of the best mythics we've ever had in Fortnite. The mobility was amazing. But when the collaboration ended at the back of chapter three, so did Spider-Man's mythics. Everyone wants that brand new victory crown. We're in top seven position. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's not easy. New season day is so sweaty. Get out of here. Oh my God, yes. So, just a little heads up, by the way. The sort of general consensus is the new shotgun isn't quite strong enough. And the new assault rifle, although we've got some nice kills of it, don't get me wrong. When compared to the burst AUG, the gun I've got in my hand now, I think the burst reigns supreme. So, I'm trying to rock the auto shotgun. I'm very scared of people hiding in bushes, camping it out. There's so much cool new stuff. I can't wait to see how this season progresses. Ooh, TTV gone. Down to a top three situation now. Jeez, mate, everyone, mate, everyone's just ridiculously sweaty. No one is casual. Ideally, the other two people attack each other. You don't want to attack Darth Vader, you know what I mean? Like, Darth Vader's a scary fella. Don't come over here with your crazy driving skills, mate. Oh, God, he's got that. He's got the perfect positioning there, though. Ooh, they're fighting. All right, I really need to get involved then. Big shot's going down there. I think this other person's just hiding, which is super annoying. Oh, no, maybe not. Shot's gone down. It's a Von we Von. I'm going to use this to get myself into a good position. I think I can see him camping in there. I'm going to use this rock here. Oh, come on, Ali, please. Hit the like button if you haven't done already for a little bit of good luck. This person is definitely sweats filled. I don't have 100 health, 100 shield. Hopefully they don't either. I don't know if they know where I am. God, where's this next zone going to go? I've got one shockwave left. She's killed herself. Oh, come on, baby. Darth Vader with the victory royale in chapter three, season three. Let's see that umbrella, baby. Oh, the battle bloom. That's genuinely one of the coolest ones we've ever had. Guys, tons more videos coming this season. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you for using code Allier. More vids on screen here, including the live event if you missed it. I'll see you on another video.